with every toll of the bell. The reality of that day is awakened. Mm, I miss my neighbor so much today. <laughs> and no matter how much time passes, it doesn't get any easier. I can remember everything of that day. Jessica Bazanka no. lost her sister, two nephews, and three other family members when the hillside gave way, swallowing an entire neighborhood, 49 homes, 43 people. Every Sunday we had dinner together and, you know, we were just very close, so that hole is still there. You know, at every family function, there's just, there's just a piece always missing. Over the years, smaller memorials like these trees have been placed here at the site. But now, eight years later, funding has finally been secured to bring a large scale memorial here with work slated to begin this fall. As we stand here on this most sacred and hallowed ground. Soon, this ground will get the respect it deserves. Snohomish County helping fund a $5 million memorial. The project will honor those killed, those who survived, and those who worked tirelessly for months recovering the remains of the victims. You can't work with these people and not be touched by them and, and just the, the love that they've brought to what they're doing um, and ha what this means to them. So it, it has become personal. Among those helping with the fundraising efforts is Jessica, who made a promise to her beloved sister that she'd make the remembrance a reality. But fundraising stalled and Jessica's parents began to lose hope. This thing is not going to happen in our lifetime. Like we're going to be dead before there's a permanent memorial. And I told them, I said, it's not, I'm not giving up. Thanks to Jessica's perseverance and the dedication of this entire community, all will be properly honored here in two years when they return once again to observe 10 years since the day that changed everything. I want people to come here and remember there's more to life than politics, gas prices, coronavirus, you know, all the stuff that's going on in this world and that to appreciate and love your loved ones. In Oso, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.